So this is Photo P. I know it sounded a bit weird. I just woke up. Well, I just got out of bed. I woke up like two hours ago. It was it's a hard day. All right. And uh, this was mentioned twice in my newest videos comments, not the cooler control one, but the, the other one about the first 30 days of Linux. Welcome to the 31st day and it's still good. Now, this is an online photo editor, which is kind of strange for me. But if we do this, oh, one second. If we do this, then you don't even notice. I still notice, I'm kidding. Uh, this is just strange, but it completely recognizes everything that I need done. But the problem is, how do we import stuff? Do we go to file, save as PSD, export as, edit, image, adjustments, auto tone. This is basically a copy paste clone of Photoshop online. <laughs> uh, so if I double click this, it allows me to change things. Okay. You know what? I'm going to say it. This is already a hundred times better than GIMP and a hundred times better than Krita. And it's not even a native app, but it should be. Wow. It has swatches and history and channels and path. I mean, look at all this. And what's this? There's a gallery, but how do we bring in images? That's what I want to know. So uh, it's showing the screenshots here. So if I turn that off. Now, for those who don't know, there's a bug with blur. There's a bug with blur my shell, where if you take a picture of a transparent object, sometimes half of it will be completely invisible. All right, all I have to do is figure how to import stuff, and we're good to go. That's it. All right, that's all. Export as automate export layers uh there's the uh, do we just can we just literally drag and drop they designed this so we can drag and drop because if they did uh it's already one let's try this i'm gonna go to wallpapers and i'm gonna drag and drop okay right, i'm gonna drag and drop nope oh wait oh it fucking worked I swore I apologize I don't usually swear but this is this is pretty darn cool Wow so now I can do Windows XP but it's KDE. Damn. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was actually going to do a video about how to turn KDE into Windows XP. I thought about it and then I decided not to because, well, KDE fanboys are a little bit uh, like a cult. So there was no point. This is really cool nonetheless. What filters do they have? Textures must be rasterized first. Okay. Well, uh, rasterize and liquefy. Uh, okay. It feels like I'm just using Photoshop at this point. And hit okay. Wow. That is definitely the coolest thing. Let's totally undo what I just did. Can I hit control Z? I can. You see, it's things like this that make me happy. This is a, a complete and utter Photoshop replacement in a nutshell. It is. You can drag and drop photos. You can do whatever. I can edit. I can drag in my logos. But the main thing is what happens. Okay. How do I do this? You. How do I edit you? See, we need to figure out how I edit you. I just double click you no uh transform controls there we go what what do i do to press that though layer is it called layer duplicate layer vector mask arrange uh refine edge view extra snap to image transform 
transform is not there. It doesn't have a keybind. Ah, it's going to be a bit annoying, but I can live with it. So if we can bring this all the way up and it still looks good. Not that the logo ever looked that high definition to begin with. And if we can bring it all the way down. Yeah, like that. And then we once again, bring it all the way up. I know this seems a little bit pointless to you all, but trust me, there's a reason behind it. Are we losing any detail? It, it honestly doesn't look like we are because uh, if I actually go find where I downloaded the original logo at, where are you by the way? I gotta go find it now. It's a bit hard to find and it's annoying. Did I put you in logo? I did. All right. so. What web browser? What is look what happened to Chromium? That's what happens when Chromium tries to think. All right, let's open this with image viewer. So this is it. If we zoom in. Yeah, it kept its complete detail. It actually kept its complete detail. So this is a viable Photoshop alternative in its complete and utter form, which is what matters. Because honestly, if this makes life easier for people and you don't need to install Photoshop natively, that's really good for you. But as far as I'm concerned, why it may be really great and cool, I still rather have a native app installed and making this full screen sort of makes it like a native app, but this sort of just pulls me out. I would need to install this as a physical app to be able to be truly impressed because you Look, PhotoP developers, you have everything you need to make a Photoshop alternative. Just do it. Just do it. Release it for Linux. Save the world. Save the cheerleader. You know? And I want to install apps. So uh, install web pages as app. Firefox. Yeah. I believe there should be a fire. Yes. This is the one. All right. And license agreement. All right. What does this do? I have to do stuff like this. Wow. You see this? No. I don't want that. Uh, use Firefox for web apps. Your email. Use an app mode. Where's that? Is it right there? But I don't have that button. You see that? Go away. No one wants your free gift. Twitter. I guess you need a different type of Firefox to pull it off, which is annoying. Uh, yay, Firefox, EWA. Yeah, there it is. Let's install this and see what we can do about it. I don't know. I just want to see if I can get this feeling like an app first. All right. By the way, we are still on Cache OS here. Uh, we're on a much bigger drive though, which is nice. And that's installed. So how does this work? Does this install another thing? No, it does not. All right. Install the runtime. Great. Come on. There's advanced options as well. I read them if you need to. Runtime installed. Great. After the runtime is installed, you should automatically proceed to the next step. You can close this page. Okay. Great. I closed it. Now, how does it work? I am going to save this. We are going to close the page. We're going to open this back up. 
and we're going to paste and go. Then what we're going to do is what is this sidebar? We're going to click here and we're going to find this install current site, photo P description, Photoshop categories, graphics, design, keywords. Uh, no, thank you. Icon URL. That, I just messed that up, didn't I? Unless it saves everything that I do. It doesn't. Damn it. Paste. Uh, once again, photo P. I'm trying here, okay? Uh, let's just put categories back as graphics design and install web app. Web app is installed. Okay. So where does it install the web app? And close this out and get rid of that. There we go. Now this is like a native app except for the crappy ads. And where's my plugins? Approve YouTube, find more. Extensions. Plugins? Extensions. Uh, you block. Yeah, let's just grab and install this because I can't deal with having ads on my side while I work. Done. Okay. No more ads. Done. So open up from computer one more time. We'll go into my pictures. We'll go into thumbnails. And I'll open this up and we'll take a look. And again, there's this thing right over here. There's an element over here. Great. Ah, oh, no. Undo. Damn it. That messed up settings my filters apply changes i want to get rid of that thing <laughs> it didn't work there well it doesn't seem to be there now which is fine all right we should be good to go i will leave this in the description below but it's just photo pee online video online photo editor that you guys can check out uh, this is your photoshop alternative and i have it loaded like an app so don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this uh, i'm not going to teach you how to use photoshop i'm sorry that's something that you have to learn on your own but you know you could hit the like button help me out i'm going to find more apps like this hopefully and have a great day